This right here was the previous expider main that we revealed, uh, hidefvape.com. So I'm just gonna reveal it anyway, uh, because, uh, you know, I don't think, uh, you know, Google penalize your site just because you m made them in public. Uh, I think they are actually pe penalizing those sites that have been spamming the internet with AI contents. So uh, what we did right here to rebuild this expired domain was we carefully uh, choose the correct keywords that will rank on this expired domain utilizing the power of its domain rating. Uh, that's why until now, as you can see, we're still trending up. We may have some fluctuation, but uh, you know, we are still getting um, a decent amount of organic traffic. So what we will do right now is we have a an expired domain that we acquired here, worldpetcenter.com. Although it doesn't have that much uh, DR power, but the backlinks, if we check the Bathing profile, most of the sites uh, linking to this expider main are, you know, related, talking about pets, taking care of pets, wellness of pets. So I think this is a good expider main that we can rebuild and hopefully to get the same result as this one. So for this expider main right here, we have gathered keywords that we will be using to uh, generate as contents. So we have here around 300 keywords that we will be uh, putting in that new domain and I'll update you guys in a week or after two weeks once we are getting organic traffic on this domain. So just make sure all these keywords that you gathered using Ahrep. So I'm just quickly showing you how we collected these keywords. So from this website right here, trustedhouseeaters.com blog slash pets, they have a bunch of keywords. So you can see right here talking about pets, all topics related to pets food, health, disease, all kinds of different topics, you know, that will be helpful for pet owners. What we did here, we filtered the keywords that will show only those keywords that have minimum of five words. So we will be using long tail keywords. And when we generated these keywords, what we're going to do is we're going to fix the title like this. So it won't be because one example keywords is, can cats have peanut butter? So we will ask ChatGPT to modify the title keeping the original meaning of the topic so so in this way google will will not think that we are manipulating the search intent just to get rankings so we will have this modified titles in our blog so we will be using article ai generator to generate some of our uh blog topics okay so now we will start with these keywords right here so we did some due diligence to see whether we have some duplicate keywords right here now after generating the topics the articles, what we need to do is to modify the titles like this. So I'm going to show you how we can quickly do that in bulk. So now let's create some articles first. So I'm going to select the first 50 right here to generate on our new, uh, new fresh installation of WordPress using the expired domain right here. So we set up and installed the basic plugins that we require to generate the articles. And also we installed the basic theme. Okay. So we will start now. So let's select the writer engine as GPT. So we can generate 50 articles and then the length will be 50. And for this one, let's create directly the featured image. So here we can do a photo photographic or 3D model. So maybe let's try the enhance. Let's see how they will look like. And of course we will post it directly to our WordPress. And since this is an expired domain, we will keep it as draft and then publish it daily, like maybe five to 10 articles per day, we will publish. Okay. So auto post that. Yes. And keep it as draft and then add key takeaway. Maybe. Okay. Let's add and then select our site here, worldpetcenter.com and then generate them. So let's just wait for some time. As you see right here, some of the articles that we generated have been completed. So we will just go to the site. So here in the post section, let's refresh the page. So as you can see, articles have started coming in. Now let's take a look at the uh, articles, how it looked like. As you can see, uh, we generated the enhanced um, image type of the AI image that we can generate along with the articles. Is asparagus good for the dogs? So that's our article title. Okay, so this is a well-formatted SEO article, SEO-friendly. And as you can see, it's written nicely the way people will read and won't get boring because they are split into, you know, small sections which people can continuously read and will be interested. As you can see, we've got some bullet points right here. We have the key takeaway and the conclusion. Okay. Now let's take a look at one more articles. How many kittens can a cat have? So let's just preview that. Look at this. This is the enhanced image type along with the articles. And again, the well-formatted SEO article right here. So if we go to the homepage, 
Okay, because we haven't published any posts, we kept them as draft. So let's refresh again how many articles. So, okay, 50 articles. So those 50 articles that we generated have now been completed. Now, the next step is the one that I told you here in Sheet Editor. What we are going to do is to modify the title to make them more clickable in the search result. All right, so here we can do that in bulk using WP Sheet Editor. So for example, I'm gonna change this first 10. So I'll copy that and I'll paste that right here. So this is the prompt that I use. These are my blog titles. Can you modify them keeping the original title but making them more clickable? Oh, so let's try this first 10. Okay, so this is the modified version. So let's take a quick look. So for the first one are Dabutils, poisonous to dogs. Dabutils, a hidden danger to dogs, so that's good enough. Okay, dogs that look like foxes. Fox-inspired breed dogs that resemble foxes. So, yeah, really good title, okay? But keeping the main intent of the keyword, all right? So, are cranberries bad for dogs? Cranberries and dogs, health, snap, or hazard soul? Yeah, we can do that. This is an optional one. You can do them in all your posts or some of your posts. It depends to you. But, uh, you know, uh, we suggest so we can avoid, uh, you know, Google to think that we are, you know, manipulating the searching by uh, just actually making the keyword itself, the search term, as our blog topic. So what we do now here, so that's first 10, so we can just easily paste them. As you can see, it got modified accordingly. Okay, so just save them. And you can do that for all your blogs, blog titles, okay? So I will be uh, completing this, generating this article so that we can have some result in, you know, the next week or after two weeks. So I'll be publishing around 300 articles. Once we have like maybe 100 or 200 articles published, then we can see some results. So hopefully we can achieve the same one as this one. This is an expired domain and now getting 1,200 keywords ranking on Google. Okay, so hope, I hope this video, uh, you find this video helpful and see you on the next one.